Well, Michigan football's offensive coordinator, Josh Gaddis, uh, was so popular on my channel, I've decided to shoot another video focusing on him. And it seems as though he's going to have another set of eyes to uh, help his speed and space offense this season. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Anwar Youssef Dunbar. This is Big Discussions 76 Sports. First of all, as always, please like this video, please share it, and please subscribe to my channel. Well, my first video on Josh Gaddis was so popular, I decided to bring Mr. Speed and Space back. This time, you know, there are no choice words for uh, Ohio State, uh, but it's something else. And it seems as though uh, Josh is going to get some help, or should I say another set of eyes uh, on the offensive uh, staff. And it's, it's uh, a set of eyes who has been on the Michigan sidelines before. So over Jimmy's tenure, uh, of the three units comprising the Michigan football uh, team, I'd say the offense has been the unit that's been broken the most. I think we know what we're going to get out of Don's side, and Don has uh, taken a beating in terms of uh, his scheme and his, how he's done in big games against uh, Ohio State. But I think the big hole in Jimmy's program has been on the offensive side, whether that's been choosing the wrong quarterback, uh, whether it's been bringing in transfers when he should have grown up his own guys, whether it's been uh, injuries, whether it's been poor offensive line play, whether <clears throat> excuse me, whether it's been not enough burst from the running game, whether it's been. Uh, play calling that's been way too conservative in big games. That To me, that's been the side of the ball that has let the overall team down the most. So, uh, entering Josh Gaddis, and, you know, we already, I've already discussed on this channel how Josh uh, felt that uh, there were plays that were left on the field against Ohio State this year. And uh, just in general, um, implementing his new offense, uh, it, it didn't turn out the way uh, all of us thought it would, at least immediately. Now, what's interesting is that even Urban Meyer on uh, the Fox Sports set said that it takes time for a new offense to uh, get clicking and to take root and to take shape. But then again, you also hear stories about uh, Shea Patterson being out golfing instead of uh, being in the uh, the film room or on the practice field, doing everything he could do to uh, make the offense uh, pop and and roll the way we hoped it would. Um, losing Chris Evans to to academics that didn't help either. So that side of the ball is the side that we really need to pop, assuming we get the same production from Don's defense. So there were two articles that came out um, over the last couple of weeks, and those articles are the basis for uh, this video. So the first article is entitled, uh, What Josh Gaddis Calls Michigan's Biggest Area of Growth This Season. And when I get into what this article talks about, it may actually surprise you because it doesn't involve scheme or X's and O's. And basically, what this article is saying, and I'm going to leave it in the description box below, is that this biggest 
area of growth that Josh is talking about is leadership and accountability amongst the players. So if I recall correctly from the article, uh, Jimmy and his staff actually brought in a member of one of the United States SEAL teams to just talk to the players about uh, solidarity and teamwork and camaraderie and holding each other accountable. And what this article is saying and what Josh is saying and one of the things I've in my limited ex experience in athletics playing is that regardless of which scheme the coaches uh, implement, regardless of how vigilant the coaches are, and regardless of um, how good that coach is in terms of coaching, ultimately you need some leaders in the locker room. So you need leaders to, you need senior players to help train up the younger players. You want to establish a culture and then pass that on as the classes come in and out of your program. Uh, when the team is not rolling, you want your senior leaders to call players only meetings. That's what those are. You see those in the NFL and you see those, uh, I think you probably see some of that in the NBA too, but you need that in your locker room. You need players to say, hey look, we can't lose to Ohio State again. Hey guys, We've got to pull it together. And I think under Lloyd, I think Jason Avant did that one year, uh, did that Chad Henney's second year, said, hey, look, we suck right now. We've got to do better. And you need the players to get angry. You need the players to get mad about what's happening and then crack the whip on each other. Uh, at the college and college basketball, uh, I'm not going to spend too much time in college basketball because this is football. Uh, you need a team leader like a Christian Leitner, someone who's going to uh, anger the other players and get them to do their best. Um, and so I think that's what, what Josh is saying uh, in this article. And is that going to bear fruit when we need it to bear fruit the most down at the Horseshoe in Columbus? I don't know. But since Jimmy took over, I have not heard stories of any leaders like that within the locker room. Um, but if the team can start to develop those and if those voices are starting to speak up and, and to get angry and to hold each other accountable and to galvanize the group within the ranks of the players, that's a positive thing. That's a great thing. Again, no guarantees against uh, Ohio. I'm sorry, Ohio State. But that's a good sign if we're developing that in our locker room. So that's uh, that article. What is what Josh Gaddis calls Michigan's biggest area of growth this offseason. The second article is entitled uh, Coaching, Footballs, and Addiction. Mike DeBoard embarks on third stint at Michigan. So who was Mike DeBoard? So it turns out that Mike DeBoard was the offensive coordinator under Lloyd Carr uh, when Chad Henney was the quarterback. And so he's coming back to be a consultant and basically another set of eyes for uh, Josh Gaddis and his speed and space offense. Uh, according to this article um, by Angelique Shingailis, uh, and I didn't get the, the author of the previous article, but that'll be this will all be in the description box below. But according to her, Mike DeBoard is a bit of a football junkie and so uh, he had experience under Lloyd, and I think he was on with the 1997 national title team. But I was there uh, when Lloyd was there and when Mike DeBoard was there. And that was a talented offense. You had Chad Henney, Michael Hart, Mario Manningham, uh, Braylon, Steve Breston. Um, I'm sorry, Braylon Edwards. And Steve Breston and Jason Avant and Tyler Ecker and Tim Massaquat. So you, you had a, a, a nice, solid offensive unit. As I said in my previous videos, I thought Chad Henney was good, but I, I don't think he was able to make the plays that Drew Henson did. So against Ohio State, those three years, while the offense was good, and while in any other year it would have been good enough to win the conference, 
uh, Troy Smith and his gang were just that much better. But the fact that Mike DeBoer is coming back and is going to act as a, con a consultant for Josh Gaddis, uh, and he has such a high football IQ, I think that bodes well for our uh, offensive unit, uh, assuming the right quarterback is in there. It looks like we're, we're going to get uh, Chris Evans back as well. So these are all pretty good signs. Uh, you saw my video on uh, Joe Platt's tweet. Uh, it looks like the NBA is kind of, some of the players are having cold feet over there, but it seems like the college football season is going to kick off uh, with uh, no glitches or hitches. So let's see. So that's all I wanted to say in this video. Uh, these two things bode well for the offensive side of the ball. Both of those articles are going to be in the description box below. Please like this video, please share it, and please subscribe to my channel. Go Blue, and as always remember that your attitude determines your altitude. Take care, and I'll talk to you the next time. Bye-bye.